This is his third of the season. That start against Pittsburgh was his second. He's got a great fastball and an outstanding. For about a two and a half year stretch, was about as good as any starting pitcher for the National League, but has not been quite as good as Addy Red. <laughs> if he stays healthy, they're going to trade him this year. Some contender will go get him. As they are rebuilding. Yep. But he's got that fastball slider and an outstanding changeup. Horses Springer to reach for one, and George making sure he didn't chip that bat. Seems like it's all right. Springer, Bichette, and Guerrero, as always, atop the line five. Their starters are at 675, but they have been much better lately the last couple of weeks when they have started playing better baseball. Stevenson, the catcher, he was looking for help. He wanted Mater to come. Talk about his offense, how good he is as an offensive player. He's a pretty good defender also. First pitch swinging. Bo Bichette will line one to right, right at Tyler Naquin. And just like that, two down, and here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And then Joey was asked a lot of things, but about this. And Votto said he just loves watching Guerrero play. Joey Votto loves baseball. I mean, that's the thing that I have taken away. After meeting any of the players, he just loved being at the ballpark. Two and one on Guerrero as Bichette checks over the get a bat on the iPad back in the dugout. Vladdy with a fly ball to left, but not that deep. Tommy Pham actually coming in a few steps, and the Blue Jays are retired in order in the bottom of the first. Not as introverted as he used to be, and he's really funny when he wants to be. I'm not on TikTok, but stuff sometimes, but he's got that kind of sense of humor. Did he do a Spider Man thing? Sight set right, right on that ball. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to hit it. There's the changeup from Luis Castillo and Teoscar Hernandez. Set it in between the break. Saw a couple of 98 mile yeah. an hour fastballs. For a guy who supposedly the velocity, not supposedly, Spinal, and he's got a 12 game hitting streak going. Pops this one up into shallow center, and Reynolds, the second baseman, is back for out number two. League with Colorado, and Toppy is five for eight in his career against Castillo, including a double. The Blue Jays and Castillo. There's only been four players face Castillo. The other one, Bradley Zimmers, had two plate appearances. And then you mentioned the numbers for Tapia. Jams him back to the mound. Castillo double clutches and Tapia is safe. So here's Matt Chapman. First pitch swinging. He drills one into left center, a base hit. It'll be cut off by Friedel. Tapia on his way to third. And into second is Matt Chapman. Third with two down. And here's Danny Jansen. And the slider misses outside. Ball one. Wouldn't chase it. Good take there. And it's 2 0. Oh. Yeah. Up the middle, backhanded by the second baseman Reynolds, and he's got the time to get Jansen. Will lead it off. Up and in, ball one for 40. Pulls it foul, one and one. I always thought that that was real hard here and there. Tonight he's hitting against a tough pitcher. So, you know, it would be nice if you get a. Two and two, 97. Again, comes in. This is just his third start of the season, so he's building up. Routed out to second. Nice range to his left by Reynolds. Zimmer retired one. Got a breaking ball. Oh, and he. Oh, and he fouled it back. And then 97 with some late moves. Takes the slider down and away. The opener, but didn't swing the bats very well the last two games. Still won one of them. And there's strike three call. Looked like a change up there at 80. And it's got movement on it. About 10 miles per hour difference, too. To down the left field line. A long run for Fam towards the corner. 0 2. 
and a change up to get him swinging. Luis Castillo with. I liked it. I liked all the scoring. Lots of goals, lots of action, lots of up and down. And fights at the end. In this scoreless game, Laddie with a fly ball to left in his first at bat. Takes that running fastball in. And 3 0 on Guerrero. I'm not sure. Maybe more out into the outfield grass. Laddie's swinging 3 0, and he's popped it up. Will it get out of play? He's happy to be out there right alongside Matt Reynolds. Bouncer to short, backs up Farmer, and the throw just in time to get Guerrero. Pat on the backside as Guerrero made his way back to the dugout. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Here's, but since he's come off the IL, with the exception of that home run against the Rays, he's been strong. Hard all over the field. That one gets right through the wickets on moderate third. And Teoscar is going to reach on the air. Chops it up the third baseline. It is a fair ball. And now hit a double. Espinal with the, the lead by Teoscar and the 0-2 to Espinal. Change up that really moves. to play again the one two bounced off of Castillo it rolls to short no play one out for Rymel Tapia who had an infield hit his first time up it's it hard but foul down the left field line well hit to center Friedel back Still going back, and he made the catch. Both runners will tag in advance as Tapia really gave it a ride. Yes. Matt Chapman, first pitch swinging, doubled his last time up. Lays off the slider in the dirt for ball one. The 1 0. Takes the slider for a strike, 1 and 1. Two balls and a strike. Stevenson kind of had a long time. Hitters count now three and one. Full count. Threw him a 3 1 change deal facing Matt Chapman with a full count. And he got him. Threw him another change. And the. I was like Joey Votto. I was just happy right. to be at the ball game. Yeah. That's what Votto said before. Danny Jansen leading off the bottom of the fifth. The Reds out hitting the Blue Jays five to three. How about this stat for the Reds pitching the first. I, I think a lot of teams can do. And a change up to get Jansen fifth strike out of the night for Castillo in the game <laughs> one to nothing just the sixth time in major league history a team has won a game without getting for the Boston Red Sox and <laughs> we made an error that let the run in after the Red Sox threw mm. a no to left center field and this is going to split the outfielders and get to the fence. Zimmer racing to second and he's in there easily with a one out double boy when he gets it going he can fly I th and Springer didn't like that a call down at the bottom of the zone goes the Reds way it's 0 and 1 Bounced up the middle, and that's going to get through. Zimmer getting the wave, and will come in to score as the Blue Jays take a one to nothing lead. So a Zimmer double and a Springer single. And now here's Bo Bichette. Oh, well, he's got to feel like a million bucks right now contributing offensively.
Oh, and two. It, it, it's hard. It's hard to do what he's doing when you did first by Springer. And the 0-2 to Bichette. Change up that he bounces in. There goes Springer. And that's a fair ball off the bat of Bichette down the line. Springer hits third. He is getting the wave. And will score without a throw to the plate on an RBI double by Bichette to make it two to pin. They just had a meeting with Castillo. But... And nobody up for the sixth. And that is in and out of the mid of Stevenson and another one that. Foul it off two and one. Two and one on Guerrero. Air a little bit more. Tried to come in again and he missed a full count. Runner at second one down and the three two. Popped up in foul territory. Stevenson again can't. Bichette the lead out at second. And again the 3 2 to Guerrero. And he grounds it to third. Motter will look. Bow back to second and make the play on Guerrero. Two down. With the Bichette out at second. Bouncer to short. Farmer's got it. And the inning is over. But the Blue Jays do string three consecutive hits together and score the first two runs of the night. Bottom six, Santiago Espinal, one for two to extend the hitting streak to 13. Charlie Montoyo has been moving Espinal around in the batting order. He can be down at eight. He can be up as high as five. And five is where he's at tonight. Yeah. They have had him down in the eight and nine, seven. Well, he tried to let up on that swing, but he couldn't do it, and he taps out to third. He got down there like a catcher. He did, right? <laughs> A change up and he gets a piece of that one. Pitch count up now to 88. Didn't chase that. Yeah, don't lean out over. Baseball America in 19 and 21 said he had the best change up in baseball. That's a foul ball. History of baseball. And two of them. There are managers in the major leagues right now. Aaron Boone is a part of a three generation family. David Bell is a part of a three generation family, and they're both big league skippers. But he still works. Of course, David and then his grandfather played for the Reds. That one will get through into center. Second hit of the night for Tapia. Chapman one for two, a double and a strikeout. Two hopper right to the shortstop to second one and on to first Taylor made double play.